Yeah, I read it and then I had to read it again and again. I was um, so intrigued by the story and the subtext of it all and the complexity of the characters. There were so many different directions that the story um, could go in and that it could be viewed from as well. Well, as the title suggests, Daimonian, uh, meaning inner voice, um, the story is all about confronting your your fears, um, listening to your inner voice, your inner demons, and uh, you know, going through a, a journey of self-discovery, um, finding out who you are and what's really going on around you. Once we remember our higher selves, the principle that allows for harmony and order aligns our soul with the good. Then we reaffirm our relationship with our demons. We open ourselves up to an intuitive intelligence. I think Lila's a really interesting character. Um, she seems to have everything under control on the surface. Um, she has the good job and the, the penthouse apartment and the handsome husband and life seems you know, pretty great from the outside, but uh, she's actually not that strong, or she doesn't believe that she is. Um, she needs to look around and see that life isn't all about what you see in front of your eyes, and you've got to look inside yourself sometimes and question things around you. To get to know yourself, your reality, you also need to explore your dark side. Come to know your shadows. She's struggling with who she is, who she's um, become, um, her environment, um, people around her not being exactly what they appear to be. Um, maybe she's being lied to. Maybe she's lying to herself. We make choices in life based on the kind of life we prefer. In our ordinary existence, we are buried in to-dos that make us ignorant to true reality. He's not the person you think he is. Stop it. What? That's wolf. Yeah, I definitely had some challenges, but challenges don't come without rewards. And for me as an actor, um, Lila's character was just so incredibly um, rewarding to explore and um, yeah it was a fantastic opportunity for me to explore a lot of emotions and um, yeah I really learned a lot on this project. Um, there were other challenges too I guess um, quite a few of the scenes were quite physical, uh, physically demanding also emotionally as well. Um, you know there's a, a scene that depicts uh, a marital violence or domestic violence and that was a very hard thing to um, to portray and to put out there but it was uh, fantastic having such a supportive and professional crew around. Indonesia was by far the most physically challenging uh, place to film. We had so many different locations to shoot at in such a short period of time and every location uh, was rugged terrain and um, they were all beautiful but they all had their challenges and I was pushed uh, out of my own comfort zone uh, quite a few times um, like jumping into the ocean in, in the middle of nowhere off a small fishing boat climbing out of a volcano uh, climbing up a waterfall um, every day there was a challenge I think the the hardest day to film was the fight scene in the jungle um, it was a fantastic day. I, I really enjoyed it. Um, it was great to have Guzman Wiranata there helping orchestrate our fight scenes. Uh, and I learned a lot that day. Um, but it wasn't definitely didn't come without its challenges as I uh, took a tumble through some poisonous uh, native plant and had to finish my, my fight scenes in a lot of pain. But I pushed through and I made it and it was a fantastic day.